61A lecture number two, announcements. Homework one will be posted today and it's due next Thursday. It's based on lectures one, two, and three. This is lecture number two. The videos for lecture number three will also be released today so that you can get started on homework one as soon as you want. Lab zero was released earlier this week. It's just a take-home tutorial on how to set up your computer for the course if you want to use your own computer. I recommend trying to finish it before lab next week. But if you don't, that's okay. You can come to lab for help and everything will be fine. Lab one actually has course content in it and it will be held on Tuesday and Wednesday. Students who normally have lab on Monday don't have lab on Monday because Monday is a holiday. But it is important that you go to lab next week. So you should attend one of our two bring your own computer lab sessions next Tuesday at either 11 o'clock or 12.30 in Wozniak Lounge. These times are only for next week. They're only because of the holiday and they will be hosted by all of the TAs that would normally teach lab on Monday. This room is big. It has room for 100 people and we'll have several TAs on hand to help you through the lab. If you can't make one of these special bring your own computer lab sessions or you don't want to bring your own computer and you want to use ours instead, then just try to attend any of the other lab sessions on Tuesday or Wednesday that you see in the lab and discussion sign up sheet or if you go to classes.berkeley.edu, they will list them all out for you. Live lecture two is in Zellerbach. If you attend live lecture two, there's no reason to watch all of these videos because they cover exactly the same content as the live lecture. Lecture three is video only because there's a holiday on Monday. We're not going to hold live lecture. Those videos are going to be released today so that you can get started on homework one if you want to watch the videos right after this. But you don't have to rush. You could wait till Monday. You could even wait till Tuesday morning if you want. But please, please watch the lecture three videos before you come to lab next Tuesday and Wednesday. Lab will make a lot more sense if you've watched the lectures. Lecture four will have videos as well. If you want to just keep watching videos, you can do that as much as you want this semester. We will also hold two live lectures, one at 2 p.m. That's the regular time for the lecture in one Pimentel and another lecture at 8 p.m. in 150 Wheeler. We're doing this just to make sure that we have enough seats for everybody who wants to come to live lecture. I'll send you all an email giving you a description of where you should go. If you're not enrolled in the course and you're just following along, you will not get an email. In that case, please don't come to one Pimentel at 2 p.m. because it will be full. Instead, you could come to the 8 p.m. lecture or you can watch videos. You're meant to sign up for lab and discussion sections. Right now, all the slots are full, but really there are more slots, so don't worry. We'll open up some new ones over the weekend and if you're not signed up yet, we'll send you an email telling you that there are more slots available so that you can sign up. A few students have asked me whether they should really be in CS61A since they've already taken an extensive amount of prior computer science coursework. Now, if you've just taken like AP CS in high school, you should definitely take CS61A. It's a course that was really designed for students with that kind of prior programming experience. However, if you've taken a lot more coursework than that, perhaps because you're transferring from another university, you might not need to take CS61A. There is a bridge course called CS47A that's just one unit and covers just the last part of CS61A, which is not taught very many other places. And if you take 47A, then you don't have to take 61A. It fulfills all the same degree requirements. Historically, 98% of the people who take 61A don't tell me at the end that they knew everything already. They say they learned quite a bit. And so this doesn't apply to most people. But if you think you're part of that two or 3% that really has seen all this material before and you want to pass out of it, please fill out this info request form by Monday so that you can come to the info session about 47A 
next week. And I will personally help you figure out whether or not you should be taking 61A or 47A. I do need to approve you to take 47A for you to take it, so you should really fill out this form if you want to take it. Office hours I told you about on Wednesday. We have a drop-in office hour this Friday, today, from 3 to 4, just to help people with Lab Zero. And then regular office hours for myself and the staff start next week. You can read all the details here, and I've scheduled some extra office hours next week to make sure that I can talk to anybody who wants to talk to me.